Hey guys, Jeremiah right here. You know, there are times that we all have a bad attitude. There's times that we all get into our human self and we say things the wrong way or we say things that are just contrary to living a, a righteous and holy life. And we're all human, we all make mistakes. But all throughout the Bible, there's words and verses that God gives us that says how to have a right attitude. And really there are three attitudes we should never try to adopt. The very first one of those is you. And when I say by you, it's anything that follows that phrase. You did this. You have done this. You had this opinion. When we say you and we do it in kind of, in, of an accusatory way, we shut down the potential of having a right resolution to that argument or that disagreement. Really, the Bible says in, in Colossians 4.8, let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you have the right response for everyone. A gracious conversation. I'm reminded of a time that I had told our pastor that I had a situation that I just didn't know how to handle it and, and asked him, here's what's been said. How do I respond back to this? And he gave me a fantastic uh, perspective and, and a great way of, of handling it. And so I did it that way. But then when I got pushed back on beyond that, I in turn let my uh, guard down and said what I really thought. And you know what happened? that friendship was, was heavily affected, was actually heavily damaged because of me not having the right attitude. When I took the attitude of you, you have done this, you have said this, I tore it down. We should always have a gracious attitude, no matter how much it might hurt, a gracious attitude towards others. You know, a second attitude that's so common is, is the word can't. And it can be I can't, or we can't, or, or you can't. And when we say can't sometimes, for example, when I'm saying I can't play the guitar, back in the 90s, I could say I can't play the guitar. That had been true. But it's because I hadn't taken the time to practice and learn how to play it. As of right now, if I say I can't sing, well, that's kind of true. I don't have the current ability to sing on key or on pitch. But with practice and dedication, I could. But sometimes when we say can't, I can't do that. What we're really saying is I don't want to do that or I won't do that. It's, it, it fear sets in and our, our fear takes over and, and we allow that fear to say that we won't do that. We won't try that. We won't step out of our comfort zone. It says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Anything worth doing, it's worth practicing whether it be something for the very first time that you've never done before or something you've done for quite a while, a, a habit or a, a hobby of yours or even a skill that you've learned. You know, if I pick up the guitar after not playing it for a long time, my fingers aren't quite as callous. It takes self-discipline to say that I, I can play the guitar. And so we should all aim to have that spirit that God has given us of, of power and love and, of course, self-discipline. You know, the third attitude is, it's like, like the first one, it's just a word that says, that's not. And by that's not, it can be, that's not how we do this, that's not how we've done it in the past, that's not how I do it, that's not how we work, how we function. Put anything you want to after the word, that's not. And again, it's an attitude of, we're not going to do that. And often it's because our, our weakness is taking over, and we're not relying on God's power to help us change. But look at what he says in 2 Corinthians 12.9. This is Paul talking. He said, each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. Allowing God to work through our weakness is a great way to overcome the attitude of that's not. His power is so much greater than our human weakness that we should all strive to rely upon him at all times instead of that's not or I can't or you. Trust in God to help you with those bad attitudes and let's all move forward in victory together.